we are here. We are doing it. Uh, let, let's try the fade out. We got the shitty fade out, and we got the switch to webcam, and here we are. Welcome, everybody. I'm gonna follow at the beginning. Kelly Conan 88, thanks for the follow. Uh, immediately with the dad jokes. Oh, God. Um, I've told this one multiple times today, but uh, who's the uh, who's the most senior person of the popcorn army? It's the colonel. Hello, Kelly Conan. Uh, Ryan Wilson asks, is that a vinyl crackle into that lo-fi song? Yeah, so um, I don't know if you're here for the lo-fi production of... Uh, just adjusting my volume. I don't know if you're there for the production of that lo-fi song, but um, I ran a program called Isotope Vinyl, which adds like a vinyl effect. It has various things on it. Um, <laughs> well, how are you? I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm very good. I've uh, I've extended my boomer pass. My boomer pass has gotten pretty pretty extensive. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean by that. Uh, how are you, how are you guys doing? Let me know. Uh, I'm not drinking coffee because. I think I can't keep doing this to myself. Um, but yeah. Real real question is, what are the song titles? Um, oh, everybody's coming to say hello. This is great. Uh, those song titles, I've literally just called them Twitch Lo-Fi and Twitch Electro-Funk for those songs. So uh, I've not been very creative. I've not... I always find that like uh, song titles are really hard to come up with when you're an instrumental artist. Like, I don't know. I've always struggled. Unless I've got, like, a theme. So, like, Invent the Universe was super easy. Um, Isles was really easy. Senpai 3 and the Senpais were pretty easy. But then, like, stuff that wasn't those albums, like Set Course for Andromeda and Homebound. And, like, all the song titles were a lot harder to come up with because I didn't really have, like, a coherent theme. And, like, I know Set Course for Andromeda kind of has, like, a story of sorts. But uh, I still struggle to come up with those names. But, um... Yeah, so I, I said before. Oh god, Annie's here. She's hitting everybody with the dad jokes. Uh, do I have my music on Spotify? Yes, I do. Do I have the Spotify link in chat? Yeah, exclamation Spotify. Uh, gets you access to all my music. Well, gets you access to my Spotify page. Um, but yeah, so the reason why I say I've become boomer is because I've went ahead and. Uh, purchase this so this is a fender blues jr it's actually my first ever valve amp i don't know if you guys can believe that i've never owned a valve amp before um but this is my first ever valve amp and i was just like i kind of want an amp so i'm gonna sit this on top of my axe effects to show that i'm like as you can see the progression from uh from yeah i've been a boomer since i bought the strat a long time ago ah uh, I feel like I've I've been I've been on this like inverse curve. So like I bought the Strat, so that's pretty boomer. And then I bought like Ibanez's and like Mayonnaise guitars and stuff. So like that was less boomer. And then I got Axe FX and start using plugins and digital everything, which is like anti boomer. Then I bought the Mayonnaise Strat and then I bought the um Whatchamacallit. Um Oh shit, I just realized I was on the screen there. Um I just bought the uh bought the Mayonnaise Strat and uh and all that shit. So. So, yeah. Uh, I've kind of hit back into Boomer. Uh, wow, new here. What do you normally play on? I normally I normally go in an Axe Effects. So, Axe Effects 2 is what I what I normally um what I normally play through. And I like all my albums since Senpai 1 have been on the Axe Effects. Um so but yeah, like it's it's just super convenient for recording and touring. But I just kind of want an amp, and this like single single speaker valve amp. So it's just like you know, I'll uh, I'll just play through that. Looking at a new budget strat. Have you heard anything good about the Yamaha Pacifica with a split coil? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, C two four PM is trying to play the lick. All right, let's uh, I'm gonna go all out. Excuse me, so for I need to go all out this once. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just open everything. That's the template file, not what I wanted to open. Well, whatever. 
Don't worry, the lick will be played. And then I need to open up. Okay. Uh, let's see if this is coming through on OBS on Streamlabs. <laughs> It is, but it's very delayed. Anyway, here you go. I played the lick. I just realized that I'm hearing myself twice. There's like a new plugin coming out tomorrow. It kind of looks like a Soldano, which would be hype. Princeton Blues Junior are mains for recording. J Blues Junior 3. I don't know how this, like, it's like a newer Blues Junior, but I think it'll, it'll sound pretty good. I've always just wanted that kind of like a... Uh, oh, don't want to open you. I always wanted like a... Uh, I've always loved the sound of Fender amps. If I actually open up... Um, if I open up Axe Edit, and you can see that... Uh, like the amp I'm using here is a Fender Vibra King model, so I've just liked the sound of Fender amps. That's like out of tune with the backing track, so. Just don't like the amp. I swear if it's a Sodano, I'm killing it. <laughs> just don't like that. Oh, that, that's harsh, just because they. This is going to make a Soldano. I have no idea what Soldano sound like, to be fair. I recently bought a Roland JC120 just because I wanted one. And while I love it, I don't know if I ever use it for recording. Definite COVID stress purchase. I mean, I feel like uh, people are so bored now that they're just getting stuff. Like, I got the hollow body. And then I've, um, like I said, I got the Fender Blues Jr. So these are definitely, like, boredom purchases. <laughs> My guitar is probably like overpowering that backing track, but yeah. Sylvana is what EVH took EVH took to PV and said, I want one of these, but with some of my own shit in it. Sounds like a bit like a 5150, but the clean channel is better. Okay. I played a 5150. I, uh, I, I know what that sounds like. Mario 570 said, play those four chromatic notes. Okay. <laughs> it literally was in the backtrack. Princeton Blues Jr., Vintage Cannabis Rex, or Vintage 3 are pretty much all that's used in there, even on the Axe Effects. Have the IRS for the speakers to match the Samsons. Can't tell the difference in the mix. Is that tone on Axe Exchange? Uh, not this one specifically. Uh, what, what have I got on Axe Exchange, actually? Axe Exchange. And then if I look up my name... So on Axe Exchange, I've got, um, so that clean patch is basically what I'm running here, except I've got, like, loads of drive. So this is just, like, the same patch, but, like, you know, just try to get that breakup sound. I didn't want to play over Aaron's solo. Sorry, Aaron. Chromatic go burr. Is there a plug-in version of Axis, or do you need a physical Axe FX unit? Yeah, um, there is no plug-in version of Axe FX, as far as I'm aware. It's all just... Oh, lots of people downloaded this. Uh, this is on a pretty old version of Quantum, though, so it's like likely that it will sound... sound different. Lane Train, howdy. Glad you're here early? I'm glad you're here early as well. I'm not even started on the, uh, on the music stuff, I've just... Talk about how to become a boomer by being a Fender app. That's how you play that. The guitar sounds like it's out of tune. I have to tune it. And you know what that means? When I tune, I have to tell a dad joke. So, so get ready, guys. Get ready to subject yourself to, to this. I'm just opening up the subreddit. 
I should just have the subreddit open. What am I doing? Just not having it open. Um. I asked my wife to rate my listening skills, and she said, "You're an eight. You're an eight on a scale out of ten. I still don't get why she wanted me to urinate on a skeleton. Oh my god. Why? Uh, that was that was painful even for me. I'm still not even in tune. There we go. That's good sounding tone. I love I love tones like this, man. Did I, did I forget how to play that? Man, you, you can tell how much this stuff sticks in my mind. I can barely remember those licks, especially that first one. It's like the the phrasing on it's like it's quite it's quite uh. Teacher feels like he's talking to the class, but really feels like he's roasting me. That's how it goes. Did I shout out that stream? That stream that follow? SDG Roundy streams followed ages ago? I didn't shout it out. But yeah. Sucker for those, especially when they break up. Yeah, the breakup tones are like what I love. It's just, um, it's hard to really get that well on, um, on, on like Axe Effects. It's like, it's one of the things that they don't do as well. <laughs> Shinjiro 33, I am late. Would you say, oh, would you say, oh shit, I'm late for school? Actually, no, you guys don't learn anything here. Like, I have nothing to teach any of you. Uh, shall we get on with the Jazz Tronica? Or should I just keep talking? Let's get on with the Jazz Tronica. Uh, I'm not even going to try to fit that out. So, we work on the Jazz Tronica song. And we got decent progress. Um, and I guess I should just play what we have so far. And uh, if you're new to the stream, or this is your first time tuning in, or if you just want a reminder, what I'm doing is sort of, I'm doing a sort of challenge essentially where I'm trying to make Twitch safe background music, like DMCA free, DMCA free stuff. That's not like, you know, uh, on playlists or whatever. And I'm making my own stuff to play in the background of my own streams. And it gives me the chance to produce music that I don't normally produce in the style of. And it's been pretty fun so far. Um, so far we've done a lo-fi song and we've done... A sort of electronic funk song, and uh, you might hear them in the background when I when I play. So what we're doing is a jazz tronica song in the style of like Anomaly, Art, um, Rob Arjo, artists like that. Is a <laughs> electro fuck. Yeah, I misspelled it initially and wrote electro fuck. But there is a um, there's a playlist on Spotify just called Jazz Tronica. So if you want to get an idea for the style of music that I'm aiming for, uh. You can go listen to that. So basically, I'm trying to produce like jazz style music without really having a rooting in jazz, which is hard, but you know, we're going to try anyway. So this is what I have so far. Actually, changed it. I'll tell, it, tell you about that later.
change some stuff. I'll, uh, I'll tell you guys about it in a sec. So that's where we got to. So I changed the synth patch. I wasn't happy with the synth patch that we ended up on last time. And the other thing is I was on the piano. I just added like a, a left, a basic left hand part. So. It's very basic. I just moved this part up the octave. Hello, Food Manchu. Welcome to the stream. So that's the piano solo. And uh, I want to change something as well. I want to make this like a short note. Actually, I want to make these both shorter. this to be even shorter. So yeah. So that's what we have so far. So we're just going to continue with that. And uh, see. So basically it's going to be the chorus again. How long is this so far? 1 minute 28 for this section. So if this ends up being like two, two and a half minutes, three minutes long, then that's probably fine. Happy when your stuff makes it to two minutes? Yeah, just just take it one step at a time. Uh, you should just avoid what I did when I wrote Sec or some Andromeda, where I was like, oh yeah, I'm happy this is two minutes long, and then every single song ended up being like fucking eight minutes long, and I was like, oh god, what have I done? Uh. So uh, somebody actually had an idea for this next section where I just kind of um, we kind of have the songs fading. You're the button of your friends. Everything I write ends up ten minutes out of nowhere. Yeah, everybody. I feel like everybody just kind of like has a different problem with that. You either write like way too much or write write way too little. So I'm thinking like first repeat, just have like the. Uh, I think just have everything like everything like filter in. I think uh some someone uh mentioned like having like a filter intro, and I was like have a different chord for every single one of these notes. Uh, can I go over the Omnisphere tones? Sure, I can. Um, so this lead tone is, uh, the patch it's based on is just simple lead. I don't know if I change much. It's basically just a sort of this saw square. It's a really simple patch. It's just like a basic like synthesizer tone. Just needed something to mirror the piano part. And then the synth chords are the Neo Soul. Um, 
backwards in Neo Soul Patch. So it's like that wub wub effect that we get we have here. So one of them is I think just the basic patch, and the other I've edited so that like the stereo spectrum like comes through fully. And then uh I think I turned off the chorus as well, apparently. Maybe let's turn on the chorus, see how that sounds. And the bass is a patch called um, JU06 Juno It's Fat. Uh, wait, is that a pun? Juno It's Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't escape them. Just dad jokes and puns everywhere. Um, so that's the bass patch, and it's like uh, basically just really simple holding down the. Just doubling down. And following the rhythm of the synth chords. And then the, the pads is a patch called um, Gorgeous Analog Pad Dark. I really like these simple pads. They're super effective and like, you know, there's not too much going on. It's They're just nice to have in the background. Sometimes I make the main progressions harmony to the main progression after transition and add a harmony to that. Just nesting. You, you should try the uh, Jacob Collier, uh, Collier like inverse harmony thing that he does. It's like the inverse harmonic series, which isn't a real... Because the harmonic series is a real physical thing that happens on overtones. But the inverse one is, like, not real. But you can still get some cool musical ideas out of it if you're Jacob Collier. If you're not Jacob Collier, if you're just a mere mortal that, like me, then you kind of go, oh, that's cool. That's, uh, yeah. So I feel like what to do here is to just, like have different chords on each of the eighth no on each of the quarter notes to go into this so um this is this is the this is the 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 the, the, the home chord that we're trying to get to how does that work the inverted harmony thing oh uh can i can i even like figure out like inverse harmony inverted harmony Negative harmony, that's the term. Negative harmony. So if if you imagine like the um the the uh the overtones of like a of a regular note, like you have the you have the um so the first the first harmonic's like an octave, then the second one's like a like a fifth, and then the next one's like a major third and a minor third. I think those are the um, harmonics. Like you just do that, but you just reverse them so that the the in the in the intervals are the other way around. So it's like an octave below, a fifth below that octave, and so on. So you get you just basically get a different set of notes from that. Um, you could also layer the guitar in the and have it uh, play some effects, maybe some rotary effects. Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's an interesting academic thing. Like it's like I I never looked into it hard enough to make anything useful out of it. And um, only people like Jacob Collier have like really seriously, well, out, out of like artists I've listened to, Jacob Collier is like the only one who's seriously looked into, uh, you know, making something of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these tracks onto a bus because it's easier to filter them. Uh, and I'm going to actually... And uh, what I'm going to do is, oh fuck, I already said it. So I'm going to put all of these to, into a bus track. So I'm going to add a bus for all of these. And on this bus track, I'm going to put an EQ on it. And I'm going to automate the EQ. And uh, this is like the way that I normally go about uh, doing like these filter sweeps and stuff with that. Somebody out there maybe has like an easier way to do it. Uh, I don't know about... Uh, Anybody else? Though. It's just uh, I think a little pass. That's what I need. I put all my attention to learning about stuff like traditional time, irrational time. Even though I hated math, and enjoy time theory. I mean, the, the the thing the thing is like most of my songs are just like four four regular time signatures. But the what I find interesting is doing like metric mod stuff, like um, 
changing the time feel, but having it in a certain, uh, like in a certain type signature, but changing the drums so it feels like it's in a different time signature. But all the other instruments are still essentially playing in like four four or whatever it is you're playing or three four. Okay, so we're going to uh, add a automation window for this in the new track. So enable and then frequency. So I don't want it to be like this. I want to show it here. Okay. Where's the frequency automation? It's just decided not to show up. Um, here we go. So it's going to be off and then we're going to enable here. And we're going to like filter it out. <laughs> Then, uh, what, what frequency is this? 400. Yeah, okay. Let's go to like. That's pretty cool. So it's like, uh. And here we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have the, the chords leading into this. So this is gonna be an interesting little, uh, little exercise. What is it? Are these tracks already processed? Um, no, they're pretty raw. I've not done a huge amount except to like the kick of the drums. So the drums have like some processing on them, but I still need to like edit them. So you can see there's like a lot of plugins on the uh, drums, but like on everything else is not a huge amount. I've done a stereo expander on the synths, the Wob synths, and the pads, and the synth bass. I've like, I'm dropping the low end just a bit so it's not overwhelming. I'm gonna probably have to like EQ the piano during the solo so that it like cuts through a little bit because at the moment it's a bit like it feels like it's not cutting through at all. Actually, what I should do is get rid of this, remove that, and add 1973 because it's got the mid range boost. <laughs> The nine, the nineteen seventy three emulations can break or make a mix is uncanny. That filter actually works a ton. Yeah, like stuff like that really helps with electronic stuff. I did I did a bunch of the, the filter stuff as well on um on the electro funk track. Um, I don't know whether I want to sidechain the kick, but because the kick's like not on the full, no, it's not because it's not on every beat. Then I probably don't want to sidechain the kick. It's because the ducking effect is more has more impact when it's like that four on the floor sound. Um, so I, w I want to automate this so that 1973 is only working during the piano solo. So inserts uh, bypass, here we go. So bypass on the bypass off. <laughs> Let's hear what effect that has on the track itself. Okay, that's like a big mid-range boost. That means I don't have to tune up, uh, change the volume by too much. How do you set up the automation lane for your plugins? Um, so on Studio One, what you do is you go to this, whatever one you want to automate and you go to auto and add remove par parameters and then go to the inserts and then add a parameter there. And what I've done here is you, I basically created an extra track uh, called bus one, but we can just call this like automation track. And the automation track will have all the, all the whatchamacallit automations on the, uh, on, on this track, so I just it's all there. Uh, thanks for the follow, Luke Melito. 
I thought the somatic stuff should always be mixed ready. When you feel the need to go further with processing, it doesn't matter fitting stuff to the other. Yeah, absolutely. Like when when someone says something is mixed ready, like what mix? What mix is it ready for? Um, it's just it's just a marketing phrase. Like nothing is mixed ready because everybody mixes differently. So when yeah, so you can you can stick something that's mixed ready into your project, and if you have instruments with a certain frequency profile that just don't work with whatever is mixed ready in inverted commas, then you're going to have to tweak them and process them. And it's just good practice as well, because like, um, if it, it always like, you will always need to do like a bit of compression or like a bit of EQ just to get things sounding the way that you want. So yeah, it's, it's just a case of tying everything together. Uh, It's usually just high pass, low pass filtered and normalized, compressed and shoved out the door. That would, that, that would make sense. Like, honestly, it's just like what mix ready is essentially a marketing term. There's not a lot of value in what somebody who isn't you, who's mixing your music says is mix ready. You should always like at least take a look and see what you can do to make it suit whatever you're working on better. That's even with like, you know, it's like, you know, people think that getting an axe effects will give you perfect tones, but like, you'll still probably have to tweak stuff and like, um, getting it sounding right for your particular mix. No worries. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to explain stuff. And then, oh, I mean, when you say it's never ready and you end that situation where you're just hunting for like the perfect tone, then that's like, that's its own special hell, but you want to try and avoid that as much as you can. Um, so let's move everything out here. So one thing is I probably want like a different chord progression after this chorus. So I'm going to have to change it. Okay, so here's here's the fun copy pasting game. do I have to copy and paste the uh the actual notes I have to copy and paste all this modulation stuff so this is like emulating what a mod wheel would do on a midi controller okay this should be it I should probably tell a dad joke when I'm like copy pasting stuff as well um but <laughs> I'll probably just forget to copy paste and everything will just go wrong So that's the base done, and now we're going to do the pads. And copy all this over. Oh, I missed something. This must be fun watching a dude copy and paste stuff over. Oh, that hurts. Uh... Where did this go up to? So this is like slightly early, so I'm gonna just give it a little nudge. In case you're wondering, I like everything's early. It's because I'm trying to emulate like a a Dilla beat. Guitar tone hunt is a true curse. Don't mind like watching this kind of stuff. That's cool. And I can definitely understand why like somebody would immediately be like, oh, "Okay, like, yeah, I'm out." Uh, but we'll we'll get to something cool soon.
So if I add a somebody's messaging me. Oh God. I will reply reply to you later. Also, do I have contact? Yeah, I've got contact. I load um Well, not like not like the actual sense, I just have the loader. But I load um my uh Spitfire libraries and um GGD through contact. <laughs> Okay, so we could do something extreme where like we just play a note, a chord on every single one of the melody notes, which would be pretty extreme. Um, and I guess like the cheat way to do it would just be to two five our way through the entire thing. So for instance, uh, this is the chord here. Uh, where is eighth notes? If you're in the market for sample libraries, uh, Piano Book has some free samples made by content your community of composers. Really cool stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll, ch I'll check it out. Because, um, like, sometimes, like, you know, you pay a lot of money for certain samples, but, like, sometimes the free stuff that people make is is really good. Okay, so this is a first 2-5. Then if we want to land on this note... Let's uh let's uh let's do this pattern. Okay. The site was actually created by the CEO of Spitfire. Interesting. That's really cool. Yeah, I mean like uh a lot of, I think uh, e even though um music production stuff has gotten a lot more accessible for for a lot of people like um a lot of stuff is still quite quite expensive because like you know not everybody can drop you know five hundred dollars on a on a sample library so the fact that there's still like open source stuff and community driven stuff that's you know trying to compete and provide stuff that you know you, you not necessarily need to pay up front for is really cool because again like i think the thing that's gonna make the thing that's revolutionized music recently in my opinion is the sort of um the sort of uh, availability and access. So if people are able to, because be, before, you know, before all your favorite gent bands in like the early 2010s, like the, 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 the whatchamacallit, the prevailing wisdom was that you had to go to a recording studio and, you know, and to get to buy a recording studio time, you either need a load of money or you need record support, record label support and all that kind of stuff. So the idea that you can do this at home and do this with your own, like, you know, with uh with your own resources and like do stuff at a fraction of the cost of what would be required to go in a studio then like that that definitely changed the game in a big way and a lot of like home producing has been a while a, a huge thing for a while but it's just like the quality of stuff that people have been doing while producing from home has like increased dramatically um so i think that's like definitely changed um how music is produced and that in that that lowering of the barrier of entry i think is like really important for allowing more and more people to try this stuff and it definitely like helped make my career remember those days everybody's practicing for the studio session so if you aren't the one wasting the little bit of money you got i mean yeah that's true as well like time is money on the studio and like time is money to a certain degree when you're like working at home but like you know Okay, this is going to sound interesting. <laughs> interesting. 
the studio hours fly by in minutes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, time flies when you're having fun, but also maybe time flies when you're like stressed out. <laughs> okay, so this these chords are interesting. Okay, let's see. So let's actually fill these chords out. So. notes uh okay so if if i've done this right and i've picked some decent bass notes this entire sequence should sound pretty cool but we we won't know until i actually play along the chords What so? Okay, cool. Any reasoning behind the chords and the interesting bass line? So basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to this chord. Um, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have a two five behind every single um every single chord um but to get to that's not really a two five is it um so I'm trying to like two five and like this is like a tritone sub as well, so that's what I'm trying. I'm just, but the other thing as well, I'm just I'm just throwing chords on there to try and make something stick. Ah, oh, that doesn't work because that's a. Uh... Trying to see if we can get away with a nine. So that works in isolation, but I don't know if it works with the rest of it. It does clash, but it's like a it's like a minor nine. Um, this might I might be experimenting with this for a little while because so I can get like a. This is my root note. That's a seven. There we go. It's like a second inversion. So the the one thing I've maybe cocked up on here is the uh it's a c because it's not technically a two five so should i have started on a different chord yeah i might have cocked up there uh i'm just like i said i'm, I'm going to the note i'm trying to i'm trying to get to and i'm working backwards from there So that works. So how to get to the C? Thank you. 
This is the f two. Okay, this is this is dumb because this is a this is the second of the this is like the second and it has a flat five so. Which is why it sounds kind of naff. So I should just like do a random two five to get to this. Nothing better to wind down for the evening with some jazz with C two. I mean, I think there's probably definitely better things you could be doing. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just struggling with this fucking chord progression. I'm trying to. This is this is what happens when you watch a guy who who knows nothing about jazz trying to figure out jazz. Uh. So I, I want to keep this. How do I get to the C without, uh, do you find working in flats? Uh, is chat being weird? Like, I feel like those, uh, Oh, it's a, it's a, I thought was, that was somebody else's name in chat. Do I find working in flat keys difficult being a guitarist primarily? Um, it's like, it doesn't really matter because the, the intervals are all the same. So like, um, if, if I picked up a guitar and like just played an E flat, like I'm just playing the same intervals as I wouldn't be in, in any other key. So like, it doesn't really matter to me what key I'm in. Like flats and sharps are meaningless in a guitar because it's the same thing. Like, there's no mechanical difference between them. Whereas on a piano, you have to actually, like, you know, hit one of these black notes to hit a flat or a sharp. On a guitar, there's literally no difference between what you have to mechanically do. So it's actually, on a, in, in a way, it's actually easier and more streamlined than guitar. Because all you're trying to, all you're having to do is just play the same thing, but in a different place. Is how I view it anyway. Like, it's, it's, like, I feel like it's, it, it's fear, it's, it's hard if you don't, know the fretboard off by heart but if you know the fretboard all by heart and you know the intervals of all the scales then it's like it's the same thing just in a different place so what is the fifth of c so g so how do I get to this G? Okay, starting on the C is kind of bruh. You know what, I might just go like full full descending and just like hope for the best. So So this chord works as a third. And that's a nine. So. What's the next? So this should be like a half diminished chord. The next one. Fuck. Select the whole thing, please. Mm. 
that's not what I wanted to do. I want to make the chord shorter. So, yeah, I think it's a. Uh, sounds like Space Invaders. It's gonna it's gonna have a really interesting sound because I'm just like uh, going down, and uh, I think the the what I'm like the whole thought process here is like I know where I want to go, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get there. And I'm working like I'm basically doing two fives when in reverse. I'm going here's my root note, and I'm going five two, and then like doing tritone subs and doing all that jazz. Literally all that jazz. Uh, okay. So that's descended. Hmm, does that G want to be there? Okay, this works if we do an E, e, e um... E major flat five, uh, E major sharp five, E major. If we do a sh major seven sharp five, that's what I want. These notes aren't fully quantized. No, when I do piano stuff, I try my best to like make sure nothing is properly quantized because piano is a. Uh, there's just, there's always going to be like minor input differences based on a uh, based on just how you play the notes. So it's always going to sound a little bit different, All right? So this this is an awful sounding chord. I hate it. But it's only one, uh, it's only one, uh, eighth note. Okay, let's see how this entire thing sounds. <laughs> Okay, the end works. It's just this chord does sound. It's just that note. Do I want to? Let's 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 do something completely different here. Because we're trying to get to this this D. What's the fifth of this D? Let's play. So this makes it like a like a nine chord. So if we change this to an F. Hmm. Do I like that or not? I I I I need to add more, but like it's because it's happening quite fast. Uh, I probably need like to hear it again. Okay, let's. Uh, one or two. So now I've copied it over to the synth notes. And I'm going to like quantize everything here because um, because uh, everything is on the synth. So, I mean, the, the synth stuff should be uh, on the grid, is what I wanted to say. So there is this, there is this like, the train of thought where it, like you know it doesn't matter what the chord is, as long as it has the, as long as it has the um, the the melody note in it, and the melody note can actually serve functionally as a part of the chord, so it can be like the ninth or the eleventh or something like that, and um, it's just like the non-functional harmony thing, and I I'm not very good at it, which is why this is taking me a while. Um. 
but in theory, you can just pick any chord and it should work. But the issue is that because I don't have a lot of experience with this, this is quite difficult for me to do. Wait. That is not right. What if I... Okay, everything is... <laughs> everything was sharper tone. That's why it sounded like garbage. Fuck. I mean, it might still sound like garbage. I don't know. But yeah, that's a rookie mistake. It's not G, it's an F. Fuck, that sounds awful. Really intriguing learning myself. Really intriguing learning about chord structure. Just started learning myself with my guitar teacher. It lends really well. It's, I mean, like, the thing, they've got non-functional harmonies. You can kind of just do anything. It's just, I don't know the anything that sounds good. And I'm trying to, like, cheat my way to here, but it's, like, uh, it's not sounding the best. The melody notes a seven. I could I could also make my life easier and like only do and not do it every eighth note. So instead I'll just have So, I don't know how this would sound. That might work better. So I'm gonna just, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna subject you all to me figuring out these chords again, so. But I'm determined to get this to work because it seems like a cool idea. So what chord is it? It's a G. So I don't need that seven. Does that G want to be there? It really doesn't. <sighs> hmm. So let's just ignore that for now. So I'm, like now I'm just like. Just giving up on the idea of the two fives. Just. And just kind of trying to go with. Uh, getting to where I need to go, essentially. So this what this chord is is gonna suck. So that G is really ruining my day. How about 
I just like do like a, a thing where I change the third. So, where the fuck am I? Yeah, here. You can tell, like, I just don't know enough about this stuff to really make it work. So I might just leave what. Mm. And, like, uh, the melody is not making it easy because the melody is, like, really pentatonic. So, I might just give up. And it's okay to give up as well. I had an idea and I couldn't quite make it work. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm not the most familiar with this kind of, like, use of... Because, uh, like, uh, there's, like, really cool progressions in, like, Anomaly songs where he just, like, goes through this, this sequence of chords and um, it just basically gets to where he needs to go. just steal what I have there. And I see what I have here and like go for like a more sort of snappy sort of staccato -y bit. Is this, that's a G, it's a B, where'd the G go? It's a sharp five, it's not gonna sound good. It sounds so good, yeah, I, th I think this might work. to like wrangle my wrangle certain things that like I'm not used to okay I'll just let's just do that that works Write a song in Cabbage Tuning next. What does this look like? Ichiko's YouTube channel? <laughs> Not to rag, he just does a lot of those like, oh, let's uh, let's do something in uh, in this random tuning. Which, to be fair, gets the views. It gets the views, so that's all that matters.
Okay, so what chord is here? Uh, what were the chords I use here? So it's just I need one chord here. Right, I think that works. Wait, what have I done? I'm in the wrong bit, that's fine. This is going to be all electronic or are you going to put some smooth jazzy licks on it? I think this one's going to be all electronic. I'm not sure. Let's just hear how this whole section sounds after the solo. I feel like beggars can't be choosers, which with uh with what I know and don't know, so Okay. E e people in chat are saying it sounds okay, so I'll I'll take it. I want this to fade out a bit faster. This is Vibe AF, man. Oh, thanks. Like, uh, honestly, like, if you want, like, a proper education and fucking jazz shit, like, I'm not the person to speak to, but I'm, I feel like I'm learning as I go here. I really need to, like, at some point, just sit down and learn all this shit. Those are... What are these symbol signs? Let's listen to this again. 
Also, I'm, I'm like really fretting over something. What's what's gonna, essentially going to be background music, but yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Now, we have the the struggle of figuring out what the fuck comes after this section. This might be the time for the guitar. Actually, do I want to play guitar over these chords? Also, I need to check that this stuff is not slipping out of time. Yeah, that patch is obviously like too distorted, so I mean I just wanna see if the guitar works. Like we're gonna try it out. the chords here so. so it's like a that's a Guitar chords would work, but you know. Oh, thanks for the bits. Oh, it's Martin, you see. How you doing, man? Jack, as a trusted moderator, I'm here to tell you to change your snare. You see, you're just like a broken record. Every time I like do electronic stuff, you always tell me to tell tell me to change my snare. I'm just like, no. Like you say this every time. It's it's like I'm not I'm not gonna listen to you. Uh, well, you know what? Just like uh, you, Yako, you're 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 the you're the wolf. You're the boy that cried wolf. Except instead of wolf, you're crying you're crying change your snare.
Just add it. Yeah, just just make just like do blast beats on the snare. Kawada Minami is now following. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Uh, so I just like repeat the section and play a guitar solo. That'd be like the cop out way to do it. It's background music. Let's do it. Uh, let's just repeat this. We're just gonna copy and paste everything and we're just gonna oh <laughs> that is five gift subs thanks thanks martin look at you guys with your gifted subs oh, i'm so happy right now we're gonna I'm gonna say enjoy your subs, Matrix three three three, MZ, Guarnak seven, Yako K, ES Sensei. Give your thanks to Martin. Hope they're not guns. Anyway, I gotta redeem play the lick, so Oh. Do I have to play a lick for every sub? Okay, I'll play the lick five times, just moving up a, a semitone. There we go. <laughs> Worth it. Absolutely. Well, in my in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. I'm just going to copy paste everything and just play a guitar solo. And we're going to finish on the major key on the major like and I'll get to that later. Okay, uh, bass now. I wish there was like a faster way to copy him. Like if I could just like, like have you seen those things where people can control stuff with their, with their like eyes just looking at something? It's like, I want to look, I want to be able to like, look at that. I'm like, nope, I want that copy pasted. Unfortunately, we don't have the technology. Uh, so... Gonna give it an anime vibe at the end? Uh, probably not. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, like, I feel like anime vibe a lot of it is from like the orchestration and the, um, and like the chords, and I don't really have super, uh, super anime chords. Oh, I'm getting raided. Manhattan Project podcast. Oh yeah, good old boys on the on the Manhattan prod. Thanks for the raid.
Uh, people in my Discord server are crying over my snare. Oh, that's that's cute. They're really upset about the snare. Like, I feel like, you know, there's things in life to be more upset about than snares. Just accept it. I mean, I probably will change it at some point. I'm just, like, writing. Uh, why are you there? Okay, cool. It would also help if somebody if you, if you if you told me what you didn't like about it. Like being told, "Oh, just change your snare." It's like the least useful advice ever. Just be like, "This is why the snare is bad. This is why you should change it. This is this is what I suggest." Otherwise, it's just like it's just fluff. It's not really helping. Gunshotty. I mean, so what are the samples on it? It's kind of already gated by like the lenses. These snares are awful, though. They're really bad. Uh... No, these are from the cymatic, like, um, cymatic, um, future base library. Uh, let's quantize everything and then unquantize everything. So it's all the same kind, uh, level of unquantized. This better be good. I've been DM'd a snare. Uh, let's, let's see. Downloads, snare, I'm going to move it to this folder. This is interesting for you guys. I'm being sent samples in real time by friends of mine. Uh, and if this doesn't like absolutely kill the mix straight away, then I'm going to be like, okay. Uh, So, what I need to do is add the sample. How the fuck did I do that again? All right, here we go. Add samples. Studio one. Where's Twitch background songs? 10. Where has it been mapped to? Okay, let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> Wait, what what's it what what has happened? Why is it why is it everywhere and everywhere? Okay, that's why. It's just decided to take up the entire uh, entire uh, width of the thing. 
Okay, so let's see how 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 the snare sounds. <laughs> Okay. I mean, j just to stop people reeing at me, I'm going to keep using it. Saturn processing on the snare is very Buster older home. Did you check his nail the mix stuff by any chance? I haven't looked at, I haven't seen any of the nail the mix stuff. I just YOLO into Saturn. Oh my god, I've been sent so many snares. Now here's 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 the next thing. Do I go for like the clean tone or do I go for like the slightly like unclean tone? Let's see. Uh. <laughs> Alright, my guitar is out of tune for some reason. Uh negative harmony. And we know the rule. When I'm uh I'm shooting my guitar, I have to find a dad joke to tell you. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Bilbo Baggins wakes up suddenly to Don't Stop Believing. It was an unexpected journey. Have the stream numbers fallen to zero yet? All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's see what we can let's see what we can come up with. Did you see what the Scottish Tories tweeted about Lemmy today? Oh God. Do I, do I want to look this up? I'm assuming Lemmy's retweeted it. Oh God. So Lemmy's this dude. Uh, he's a Scottish comedian and streamer. Scottish conservatives. Oh god, I gotta get rid of this from my from my search soon. Okay, it's not there. Whatever. I've not seen what they tweeted. Probably don't want to know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna record this bit by bit.
check Lemmy's page. She's turning the wings against his. Oh God. I, I'm being dropped on a social media. Social media. Is it, is it his page or is it is his Twitter account? My live reaction to seeing the Scottish court is toting, quoting she's turned the wings against us. Let me look at the tweet. What is this thing? This would be very hard for me to know. What's this thing? Oh, fuck right off. They've turned the winds against us. Vibes from the cabinet secretary for justice. Rigged polls. They've left reality behind. The fucking Tories using my fucking. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Don't don't want Scottish Tories using Lemmy shit. In case you're wondering, the, the Scottish Tories are conservative. The Scottish Conservatives, and they're very unpopular here. She's turned the winds against us. Uh, also, Solrak two 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 two. Thanks for the follow. I don't know if I got the right amounts of twos there. So yeah, let's just record stuff. Okay, almost. Also, I should probably make it so that you can see my guitar. That'd be a start. And I should probably make it so that it's probably going to be in time. So let's make sure that this is all in time and let's, let's do this. It's always the first note. I, I said this the last time I was recording uh, lead parts, but it's always just the first note. I always fuck it up. Uh, This Matt Mianis looks nice. Yeah. Look at this thing. It is oh, so, so sick. No idea what I'm gonna play next, but we'll just see what happens. Do that again. I was I forgot to check if I liked any of that. Make sure to not auto delete your solos. <laughs> Okay, I'll 
keep that and then actually not fuck up that slide. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I pressed record, but I had didn't have the record track open, armed. Are you recording DI or the Axe FX out? Just recording the audio from the Axe FX, so no DIs. I d d tend not to use DIs just because um, I'm bad. edit guitars with a DI, isn't it harder to see the transients? Uh, it, I mean, I'm used to just editing audio. Uh, MZ, yes, you did get a sub. Mar Martin uh, subbed five people, gave, gave out five subs earlier. So, five of you have subs. Thank you, man, Martin. I like that. I'll probably just play like the dad, the dad lick there, like dad rock lick. Yeah, okay. What was the part here again? Always the first time I like rush it or fuck it up or something. Oh, 
Are you posting a copy pasta from the Discord server? Oh god. Oh man. Almost. Try the highlight option? Uh, fair enough. Ah, uh, now that I played one thing wrong, I keep playing the same thing wrong. Do you guys find that? there almost 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 sorry i'm just like going over the same take over and over again but you got you guys get to watch me suffer cheat more and move up my uh move up my uh, fret wrap up i'll be taking part of the take like yeah i'm just i'm just i'm just determined to just get it all in one oh, fuck i got the fuck i fucked up the timing there i'm gonna bend as well car Try that instead. That was an accident, but yeah, do that instead. See how the solo sounds all together. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add some processing and then, and then I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Let's see how this sounds. some stuff. I'm going to cheat.
gonna turn down the feedback on the reverb on the delays a bit. Let me turn down the level as well. Let's pretend I didn't play that. Actually, finish on an E here. Is there a reason to buy an Axe over a used Axe 2 using it for light recording? Uh, I actually haven't used the Axe 3, so I don't actually know like what kind of benefit you're actually getting out of it. Seven doesn't sound good there. Just end on a nice cheesy two, uh, two five. Uh, here we go. E the ending like a Picardy third? No, this is just resolving to the major. Because like uh, I've really been... Basically throughout the entire song, I've just been going to that A flat major 7... A flat major 7 chord, which is the... um, Which is uh, chord 4. But uh, I'm actually finishing on chord 1, just to, so it sounds resolved. It's really nice... See, that has like a real like R&B vibe there. So I'm just putting on the synth as well. I'm 
gonna finish on a major seven, just so it has that like uh, just to keep just the fact because I've used major sevens through all throughout. Uh, Wax W six five four. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. I think we have a finished song here. I'm just going to fix some of these snare parts. And uh, where's the kick drum? Studio One Gang, yeah, man. Studio One is the way to go. Well, I always recommend it because I think it's just like, it's great when it suits me. I just realized that you're probably getting like a crotch shot <laughs> the whole time in the webcam while I was editing. Uh... Studio One Five. I think this is Studio One Five. Um, should probably take this off of here so I can check that I'm not doxing my. Oh, never mind. Too late. Studio One Five. Uh. So there are some snare snare hits I need to fix. Which is fine. Okay, shall we just listen to the whole thing and see how it sounds? I'm gonna add my mastering channel. Then Okay. Just coming through. I'm just throwing on like my master preset. I still need to adjust it, but uh, let's just see how this sounds. I'm using sample one, but these are all like outside samples. Here's the bit that I was worried about.
getting there. Okay, here's a guitar solo. Okay, fine. I bet I was wrong about the snare. This is anomaly with guitar. I mean, that's a good compliment. It's definitely what I'm going for. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. I need to fix some things in the mix, and I need to add more percussion-y things, because, like, the hi-hats... It's just hi-hat. There's no, like, snare... There's no uh, crash cymbals, and there's no, like, um... There's no, like, um, little extra things that you usually hear in um, in the, this kind of music. But uh, I think I think we did it. We, 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 we finished Jastronica. Where's the anime wow sound effect? I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it. Sweet. We did it, chat. We finished another song. Uh, let's see what it asks. So, so, what's going on in the master? Uh, so equalizer. This is like my like preset standard chain for uh for for my right like my prog metal stuff. So like basically EQ, low pass, uh, high passing, then some mid cut more mid cuts and ro then gain staging so i'm using rocket bombardier bombardier fab filter into a limiter um but this needs this will need some serious adjustment because this is like what i use for my uh, metal mixes and not what i use for not what i'd use for uh something like this but yeah we did it so that's what three songs max w654 thank you for the prime sub thank you thank you um uh, in terms of the the drum machine, I don't know if you're here before, but I'm using St Studio One sample um, sample one, which is just their sample loader, and I'm just loading in a bunch of samples, and then I got told off for the snare, so I added a new snare sample. Uh, somebody actually, like my friend Aaron, actually sent me like a lot of snare samples, but I only used the first one that I saw. Um. So, so yeah, I added one snare sample, and it sounded fine. So we're just gonna. So we just go with that, and then, uh, and then, yeah. Oh, the, those sna those samples were the same I used on Hanako Shoujo Manga spinoff. Uh, these streams are really educational for me. Oh, sorry, this is what Flat Black, Fat Black Ninja is saying. These streams are really educational for me, along with more engaging than looking something up on YouTube. And thanks for doing these. No worries, I have a lot of fun doing these. Even if I'm like, I had a slight existential crisis over doing like, over doing um this bit, the the sort of. Like that that gave me like conniptions, but apart from that, like uh these are relative like these are good fun to do and um it's nice to kind of I don't know, I feel like obviously I'm kinda of putting my spell self on the spot a little bit with like the with the comp compositional elements as well, because like I'm not a jazz guy, so trying to figure out jazz on the fly with my very limited knowledge is like uh what I do. Um so I guess, um, I guess the thing is, so Friday is like the chatting stream. I might like, I might actually incorporate like, you know, playing some songs or jamming on the Friday streams. I think that'd be fun. Um, but I guess the thing to ask you guys is what kind of music do you want to hear on the next production streams? Because don't, 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 don't ask for anything metal because after I do the Twitch background stuff, I will go back and do some metal stuff and like we can maybe do some like songs in the style of x band or do a metal song in this style or whatever um so we can go and do that but like what kind of stuff do you want to hear because you know i was thinking of like city pop uh i'd like to hear you take on edm like serum sound design stuff okay i'm gonna have to look up serum and serum sound design stuff so i actually know what that is but that that's a definite possibility i did the uh electro funk which is kind of edm-y but not super edm-y um Oh, sorry. Let's let's save this and go to web webcam. Um, synthwave, synthwave could be doable. Yeah. City pop. 
okay, so we have CRM is soft and allows you to modulate other things. Orchestral acoustic. So the thing about like, so the thing is, I'm going for stuff that, that that's like kind of vibey for the background of a stream. So acoustic stuff and orchestral stuff is something I maybe do later, but not necessarily like full full on like background music. Um, okay, let's 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 make a straw poll. Uh, let's see what people vote. Uh, next Twitch background music track. So we go EDM, synthwave, and city pop. So I'm just creating this poll here. Plastic love vapored on repeat for seven days. Man, like, Plastic Love is just the City Pop track, isn't it? So, like, uh... Oh, I should turn on my, uh, my BGM. That I didn't bother to fade. Let me actually put on this, uh, Electro Funk song. Been doing some orchestral stuff for animations. I'd love to do some stuff with you if you ever want to collaborate. I kind of... I mean, you guys know me. I'm a, I'm a lone... I work... I only work on my own. The last partner I had died. I can only work on my own. Yeah, I, I've always been like, you know, I'm, I, even my friends keep telling me that I, I should be like doing live drums with them and stuff. And I still like, uh, I still like just do stuff on my, by myself and still program everything. I feel like uh, I'll, 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 once I hit the limit of what I'm able to do with programming, I'll go to get, get my friends to do live stuff or I'll just, you know, have live drums on the next album. Oh, I've got two people in chat that know each other. That's cool. Uh, straw poll doesn't update automatically, so just gonna have to wait for it to go. Um, yeah, like uh, not sure. Um, but orchestral stuffs like I've never done anything that's like strictly orchestral. I've always like had orchestral elements in the background of like senpai stuff. So it just depends really on whether um whether like that's something we do in the streams, but um Yeah, we'll probably get to it at some point. Like uh I do wanna do some metal stuff just because like I feel I feel like um I feel like like I've just not been doing a lot of metal music. I'm like traditionally like a metal guitarist, I guess, but having um done like the senpai stuff and all that all that shit it's like going back to metals just uh oh, how do how do i want to phrase this it's like it's like going back to my roots so much but it's like i've also felt like i've tried to deliberately move away from it but um yeah i don't know how about something like the algorithm edm plus gent uh, yeah, maybe you can do that for, like, a separate thing, but not for, like, the background music stuff. Um, we'll see. Why is the straw poll not updating? Maybe no one's actually void. Well, can I suggest an interval-style song when you go back to metal? Yeah, I, I mean, that's definitely something we can do, right? So you can say, like, you guys will say, like, you know, let's write a song in the style of intervals, or write a song in the style of, like, Deftones or Gojira. So, yeah. Okay, uh... People are saying they voted, but it's still showing a zero. So straw, straw poll is just being slow. It's fine. We only asked three minutes ago, so so yeah, it's gonna take its sweet time. But yeah, I think I think that's gonna be like. So I don't know. Like some people do. Like you know, they perform their songs on their streams and stuff like that, and um, that that's cool too. And that's something I might do on Fridays. But like, I definitely want to use this as an excuse to just do and try out loads of different styles so like yeah for if you guys said you know write a song in the style of intervals i was like okay this 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 uh this stream we're gonna write a song in the style of intervals and like i'll actually have to play the guitar and you'll see me fuck up stuff a lot more or or like you know you might see me just um just write from just write um whatchamacallit this dropout was broken yeah I oh, know sometimes it takes ages to update. Um, yeah, you you guys will get to see me write from absolute scratch as well, um, and sometimes you get to see me. You see you see me do that as well with the with the Twitch background music streams. 
Um, but like for, for it's you'll see me do that from like using a guitar as as an instrument. So yeah, should be should be good fun. Do a Twitch poll ball. Can you do polls on Twitch? Uh, I don't think I have polls set up. Do I? I'm, I'm such a fucking Twitch boomer, man. Like, I don't even know what bits are for. Um. Uh. Those are mod tools. Can I do them from here? Okay, uh, cryptic L33, thanks for the follow. Oh, it's a slash command. Oh, okay, here we go. Next track, uh, EDM, city, pop, um, synth wave, other suggest. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put points on it just yet. But like for other polls, I guess we can put points. Did they even go through? Oh, there we go. It's at the top. I, I'm such a Twitch boomer. I didn't even see it at the top there. Uh, do you... <sighs> okay, this is cool. Okay, I like this. I wasn't very specific on the on the poll question, but uh, yeah. Next, okay. City Pop is winning. <laughs> Did you say haha penis poll? Oh, because of the shape. Okay. Looks like City Pop is winning. Looks like I'm gonna do. I, I gotta do some like serious research as well because I feel like I've heard like. I've heard like um. What you might call it, plastic love and some like one or two other tracks, but I need to like listen to a lot more city pop to uh to uh to get into it. What is city pop? Uh, do I risk? Actually, I'll just post the YouTube link so I don't so I don't risk get my eye and get my stream muted. Oh shit! That was the first uh <laughs> that was the first uh drum fill. That's that's city pop. That song. Uh, I mean, like, on one of my Friday streams, I was, like, drinking whiskey and I was just listening to music anyway. And, like, some some streamers do that as well. They just listen to music on stream and they just don't care. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, it feels like there are rules and lots of people don't follow them. So, but it looks like City Pops won. So, it looks like I'm doing a City Pop song for my next one. Um, So, yeah, on next Monday, we're going to do City Pop. There we go. Oh, I can. I was looking at the options. Like, oh, report poll. You wish you voted City Pop now? Well, I won anyway. So, like, it's you're, it's not like your vote mattered. Check Guru's karaoke streams. There's some good City Pop there. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe I'm being recommended. Like, I, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But I'm just be being recommended virtual YouTuber streams to find City Pop songs. Ah, but yeah, so we'll do City Pop. I actually tried to make a City Pop song earlier, so I'll try not to cheat and use anything I I used on that song. Um, but yeah, but I did sort of come up with some production techniques to try and get that, like, big 80s sound. Um, is that, like, a City Pop playlist? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna save this. So that I am full City Pop mood when I do the next stream. I like how you spelt, uh, Martin just spelt democracy wrong. He, he wrote democracy, then he wrote dome, domecracy. So you spelt democracy wrong twice. Um, what's that? Is that, is that the fucking, um, I, I don't know if you guys are aware of the whole prequel memes thing, but it's like, uh, what's his name? Palpatine from, uh, episode three is like, I love democracy. So yeah, democracy has decided that we can study Paul. 
City Pop's a super chill uh, genre, and I think it's great for I think it's great for the, what I'm going for with the background stuff. Um, I guess the only thing is that is that um, I, I don't have a female Japanese vocalist, and uh, we don't have the technology to make me sound like a female Japanese vocalist or to just sound good as a vocalist. Ironically, though, the term city pop doesn't exist in Japan. They call it new music. Yeah, I guess it's because it's different from like traditional Japanese pop, which is like anka. So new music makes makes different, makes 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 different, makes sense. Um, let's see what Wikipedia has to say about it. Uh, with Wikipedia, city pop, city popu. <laughs> well. It says that it's city popu, so T text this me. Use Miku. Wait, do I do I waste money on a fucking like Vocaloid software? This is the official Vocaloid. All right. How much is this? Uh, 300 and... Okay, what's the difference between... Wait, do I... W I mean, I guess, like, it's not Miku and, and shit like that, so... I guess... Yeah. People, people have suggested, like, free programs, but... Oh, man, dude... <laughs> Do I just do this? Like, do I get like Vocaloid Five? It's not super expensive as plugins go. I've definitely seen more expensive. Um, but this this would this would uh complete the city pop. You say you'll donate the money for it. Oh god, don't feel like you have to. I'd feel really bad if well. I'd feel really bad if someone donated that much money and was like, but then again, if someone donated that much money and said, you have to use this in City Pop, I'd be like, okay, that's that's absolutely what I have to do. Well, there you go. There's there's definitely an option for the next stream. Uh, Vocaloid standard. <laughs> the 100 bit investment. <laughs> this is this is going to be like my fucking um, like crypto, crypto scam. It's like, yo, I I need Vocaloid. Invest in my blockchain crypto NFT shit. And then before you know it, like global temperatures have risen half a degree and I've scammed you out of all your money. <laughs> you expect to see returns. You'll you will you will get your city pop track. Oh man. Okay. This the, I'm gonna I'm gonna board meeting 9 a.m. Monday. Yeah, 9 a.m. Monday will decide whether I'm gonna buy this or not and see what we can do Amy Chris Curry can Amy Chris Curry can cyber diva 2 cyber songman what are these voice packs do they actually have Biku or like okay so th these are like the individual voice packs for for uh, for the plugin, Jesus, they have so many. Oh my God, this is is this how they like um, is a I came here. But speaking of the sort of thing, would you ever do NFTs for my music? Um, I don't really see how it works, so that's why um, that's why I'm not really. I'm just gonna wait till like it sorts itself out because it's still very new. Uh. I seem to come in an interesting time. Don't succumb to Vocaloid, please. Avoid it like the plague. Okay, so for context, since you came in here now, uh, I'm the next song that I'm gonna do for the background music stuff is uh, Jesus. These these look like graphics card. Like I don't know if you guys remember like old like old graphics card boxes. It looks like this shit. But like weeb. Uh. So the the idea is that I, city pop is not complete unless there's a female Japanese vocalist, and 
I was just like, maybe I do Vocaloid, and then I end up on this vibe, so now everybody's telling me that I need to get Vocaloid to do the song. There's so many voice packs, though. These are just the Japanese ones. By the way, there are a lot of male city pop singers. Okay, but like, the first city pop I heard was like, Plastic Love, so I feel like that's what I had to go for. So... Yeah, I know. Pe uh, people are saying that City Pop has loads of male vocalists, but I'm just used. To, I'm very like I don't listen to a huge amount of music with male vocalists from Japan. I don't know. I think it's just like so many anime openings, for instance. Like, um, so many vocalists are what you call it on anime openings are female. Uh, Miku sold by Krypton. Krypton. That is a wiki page. Okay. <laughs> Those are just the opening lyrics to it. Okay, so this website looks reportedly a lot less professional. Okay, now I don't understand anything. So... Cool. Check out Suspended Fourth, King New, and Satchmos. The latter two are steady pop and R&B. Okay. Well, this is like a... I feel like... This rabbit hole's pretty deep. So... I'm gonna... Prepare myself for diving into it. Um, yeah, anyway. So... We did Jazztronica-ish. I need to mix it still. But um, I will mix it and get it ready on for you guys to download on the... I was about to say subreddit. Um, on the Discord server. So all the Twitch subs can go and get it on the Discord server. Other than that, uh, thank you guys for hanging out. And um, yeah. Really uh, was challenged a bit today with that one chord run. But we got through it eventually and you know being challenged on my snare as well anyway so thank you guys for hanging out and i'll see you guys on friday for the chat and stream and i maybe like i said i'll maybe i'll play some tunes have a good one guys have a good one guys see you see you later